thank you everyone uh, to attend this event and especially thank you uh, David Kao to organize this event, put everything together, uh, let us have the opportunity to share the resource and build up the connections. Um, my name is uh, Bill Chin, I'm from uh, BQ Realty Group, we're a real estate brokerage uh, across uh, Northern California and Southern California. Um, those couple of months, uh, the one question I was asked the most is, what the current market is? If the house price will drop, or how much it's gonna drop? So that's the question of what I make a survey. Do you think in six months, the house price will drop 30%? Please raise your Okay, I will say this. What about over 30%? No, okay. What about 20%? We think 20%. 10%. <laughs> Still the same. The price will go up. No, okay. So today, uh, I'm gonna share some uh, uh, knowledge, experience, what we're seeing about uh, the real estate market. Yeah, from, um, so all the scary, scary feeling comes out just within uh, almost a, uh, one month. Some giant uh, tech company like Tesla, um, like Meta, they're gonna cut 10% uh, uh, layoffs or cut the salaries. And uh, uh, some other companies, they have uh, some news since they're since Harry or has some layoffs. Interest rates go up. Now, uh, the mortgage rate could be, I mean, 6%, it could even to the 8%, it's possible. And also, um, the stock market, it getting better, but last couple of um, weeks, it dropped a lot. So all the news comes out, the people feel very scary. Uh, they think the price will drop dramatically. Some of my clients, or some of, uh, some of uh, the uh, real estate agents, investors, we talk about that. So let's uh, take a look at uh, supply and the demand. Then we take a look at uh, the sales volume and we see the price trend. Let's uh, see the next one. Yeah, this is the um, new employment uh, insurance clean. It, you can see that's a drop. Also, there's some layoffs news, but it's not the facts. Some uh, company may get layoff some people, but they may not take that action. So that's a question. Uh, even they lay off some employees, but if they lay off maybe 200, 300, or 1,000, 2,000, but compared to the uh, home inventory in Bay Area, is over millions uh, of householders. You just take a very small percentage of the market share. So it doesn't really affect uh, the inventory. It doesn't uh, really affect the, uh, the supply side. So we can see the next one. Okay, uh, CPI inflation running hot. Uh, we can see all the gas price, all the food, um, everything, every price uh, going up. So. Why not house price not going up? Because um, when you build a new house, the wood, the price of the wood increased 150 percent compared to uh, a couple of years ago. So all the new construction costs go up. The fight uh, is very aggressive um, to take actions. So let's say the uh, demand side. The demand is uh, still uh, strong. Uh, lots of uh, um, buyers, especially for the first time home buyers, they want to buy, they need to buy, but they worry about the future, they worry about the market. So they are in a uh, pause position. They just watch the market, want to buy, but they don't submit the offer. If, once they submit the offer, they will submit a low ball offer. They put the future price into the current price. So that's the current market. So as we can see, um, the market is kind of uh, 
freeze it, uh, which means um, no much buyer get into the market. And they don't submit uh, much offers compared to months ago. So this is a, a for example, uh, uh, they still need a house. Let's see the next one. Okay. So next one. Oh, right here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So let's say the um, active listings, uh, the supply side, uh, the supply not raise so much. There are no much inventory, but you will see lots of houses on the market. There are two reasons. One is the supply got a little bit of more than before. The second is that the house stay on the market. The time is uh, a little bit longer than before. A um, couple of months ago, if I sell the house, I just uh, put one open house, put onto the market for a week, then it, it went pending. But uh, in current market, the house on the market for two to three months, that's very normal. Some house even uh, put it on the market uh, even longer, like a month or maybe five weeks. So as we can feel that um, there's a lot of house, uh, many houses in the mar on the market, but it's not really inventory. So uh, as we can see, um, the house inventory um, Increased, but it not increased that lot. And the demand is still there, but in the uh, pulse position of the buyers. So the current, uh, the price didn't change much because if seller won't get a good offer, uh, they decide to withdraw the listing. They turn to rent the list, the rent the house. So that uh, make the rental market is very hot. The rent, you can uh, watch that market, the rent prices uh, even drop a lot. So there's a survey. 75% um, seller think it's a good time to sell, but they only accept a good price. It's only 17% buyer think it's a good time to buy, but they won't give that good offer. So we can say the demand and supply is kind of balanced but the demand is a little bit uh, less than the uh, supply. So uh, we can say that um, last month, the average price um, decreased 0.5%, but this month it could decrease maybe one to 2%. So this is Santa Clara County, median price decreased 2.6% uh, should be this month, and average price decreased 1%. And uh, um, the uh, south and the listing ratio will decrease uh, 3%. For the condo, town home, it decreases less. So there's some uh, factors uh, for the market to affect the future uh, price and the trend. So uh, there's a prediction that uh, 2022, um, the price could be decreased 5, uh, 5 to 6%. This is not that much. Um, after this year, uh, next year, I will see um, no matter price drop or price go up, the buyers will come back to the market and supply won't change much, won't increase much. So uh, the price will be uh, very stable and uh, uh, turn to the different direction. Okay, let's uh, uh, share some uh, uh, market information. Thank you.